Am I still? Can you hear me now? Because I should not be muted. Let me check what the settings are. Uh, cam and mic settings. Audio. Oh yeah, I guess it was. I guess the blue. I was using the blue Yeti, and um, I guess the blue Yeti was muted. Then realized I have switched. Usually I use my headset f- headphones, and um, I apologize for that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. My apologies, my apologies, my apologies. I didn't realize I have I have switched over to the Blue Yeti. I was kind of been using my other headphones because they don't pick up um, all the background noise. It's my wife be doing a lot of cleaning. What's up, Era? How you doing? My wife be doing a lot of cleaning in the background, and I don't and it filtrates when the Blue Yeti's on. So I was taking it easy on you guys, but apparently, apparently, uh, it happens like that sometimes where. You know, it is what it is. So I'm still going to work on this Paul, Paul, Paul Pelletier pencils. I hope everybody's been having a wonderful holiday, getting ready for New Year's. I am on vacation for the next couple of days. Thank goodness I don't have to go to work. So I'm going to be chilling, you know, for the rest of the week. I may or may not take advantage and go live during the day. Now that I don't have to work this whole week, but mostly I'll be chilling with the wife when she's not at work either. So we'll see how that works out. We'll see how that works out. Yes, yeah, so I hope everybody's having a good evening, man. I, I hope everybody's enjoying it. Anybody got any plans going out of town, doing anything spectacular for New Year's? Any great plans, secrets, New Year's resolutions, any of that big, any, any, any big things that y'all might be thinking? As far as, uh, oh, let's see, <coughs> heaven help. Says, so we meet again, trusty. Ooh, that's kind of weird. Huh. I don't remember. Oh, that's why it's doing that. That's no bueno. Here we go. I was trying to get more work done. <laughs> Eric says, losing 55 pounds. I get it. I need to lose about 55 pounds myself, man. Shoot. Oh, like 35. I need to lose like 35 pounds. You know. Thirty-five pounds would be good. Oops. <laughs> when I say that, I forgot um, that um, it pushed the layers down, so I have to redraw the lines. <laughs> oh my lord! Oh well. Oh well. No big deal. No big deal. It is what it is. Let's see, let me see. All right. Yeah. Take care of business. Yeah, those are all good things, man. And I probably need to lose weight myself. 
everybody, I think that's everybody's big one, right? You know, lose a few pounds, try to get in better shape, eat better, you know, be healthier, um, stuff like that. And this is why I don't like doing the Blue Yeti. Y'all probably heard the alarm go, the alarm being set <laughs> in the background. It is what it is on that one. Yeah. So we got seven people watching. That's awesome, man. Hope everybody's having, like I said, an enjoyable, an enjoyable time. Hope your holidays have been awesome. Mines have been pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Can't complain. Can't complain. Cannot. I could. It wouldn't make no sense. It would make no sense whatsoever. Let's see. We strong. Dun, dun, dun. Everybody's quiet. Everybody's just chilling, watching. It's cool, cool. I can dig it. Yeah, man. So my football season's over. Cowboys lost. They're not going to the playoffs. The Oklahoma Sooners got blown out the water by LSU. That's terrible. So for me, football is done. What a done deal. That says the end of the Tom Brady era, too. He seems to have lost. Lost to the Dolphins, but I don't really put no merit. Hello, hey Mariah, how you doing? Thank you for coming. On less chat relay, uh, on less chat relay, crapped out. Looks good to me. All right, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Yeah, I, I wish if I if I would have known that I was gonna be on my own, I just probably just did done D live. So at least I could put some music in the background. Everybody could at least have something to listen to. Maybe I would have looped the Mandalorian for like an hour. Y'all would have been tired of it. But y'all would have been saying, this is the way. And I have spoken the whole night. See, Miranda says, turkey stuffing, sweet potatoes, and cranberry sauce for dinner night before he asks. <laughs> you know I was going to ask. It's it's as part of the tradition, you know. Miranda comes into the digital bullpen, and we almost know what she dished up. It's it's part of the tradition, man. Shady Deeds up in the house. Hey, Shady Deeds, thanks for jo dropping by. Really appreciate it. Just sitting here, you know, doing a little bit of inks over some Paul Pelletier pencils. Uh. <laughs> Trusty says, E, my football season has been over for 20 years now. Mine too, Trusty, mine too. Two franchises in NFC East that have just been horrible, horrid, have been ours. You know, completely and totally terrible. Terrible. Charles Barkley voice, terrible. So, <laughs> anybody doing anything? Uh, I asked, but some more people came in, so I'll ask again. You know, anybody uh, doing anything exciting or for the New Year's? You know, going to somebody's house, visiting family, any of that good stuff. A Patriots struggles in the second half. We'll see how they do in the postseason. They'll be fine. They're the Patriots. They always do good. They always do good. <laughs> Shady D says, Pat, watching paint dry. Yep. I got you. I got you. I got you. I remember the good old days when the AFC Championship game was to determine who would lose the NFC East in the Super Bowl. I remember those days. All right. 
RSS. He said his friend is having a birthday on the 31st. They're going to go chill out with him. That's nice, man. That is really good. I'm pretty sure they appreciate that. You know, some people don't like celebrating birthdays. Some people do. Shady D says he's watching paint dry. Yeah. When when I'm running solo, uh-oh, somebody uh, did something on DLive. It says, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, it just followed by, uh, let's see, Master Chief Gary just followed. Well, thanks a lot, Master Chief. Thank you for joining us, man. JV says, uh, I'm going to see if I can drum on for 2020. Yeah, man, for sure. Like, it's not a bad thing, man. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. Let's see. Miranda says, Chinese food for the New Year's Eve for us. My husband works that eve and day as usual. Oh, no. Now, I'm off for the rest of the week. You know, um, I'm off for the rest of the week. So, I'm just going to be chilling, um, which is good. It was an unintended thing, but it happened. So, hey, I'm not mad. Not mad at all. It is what it is sometimes. Just take those little lives, little curveballs and roll with them. You know what I mean? Uh, Dragon says, woo, your inks are looking spot on. Well, thanks, Dragon, man. I've been practicing and practicing and practicing and practicing. <laughs> Rebel Comics and Gaming says, happy New Year's, guys. Sup, Rebel Comics? How you doing? I saw your little video uh, on the on the Stealing Solo. Well, you, I think you made two videos on Stealing Solo. So I checked them out, checked them out man. Good, good journalism. Good piece of journalist, no chop. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, man. It um, just things that happen. So I was reading today, and uh, on on, I think it was the Saving uh, Comic Books um, Facebook page that all of EVS's campaigns combined netted a million dollars. One million, one million dollars. <laughs> Those are old now. <laughs> I was, hey, I've been running behind on my watching my videos things. All right, man, but I'm, I'm, you know, in case nobody else caught them. There you go. Now you get a little bit of love on that. Let's see. Uh, wifey Ortiz. Let's see what happened here. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I got I just got a text message. And uh my nephews are reading uh Gary Shipman's Packings Land that I, that I sent to them for Christmas. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. You know, Rebel, I don't know, man. You know, he raised for a million. How much of the production and shipping cost from that one million? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, from what I'm seeing, I mean, the more he prints, the cheaper it gets, right? So, like, he, pre he basically had the same comic book. He just made, like, a million variant covers. Um, well, he made a lot of variant covers, you know, and production, well, like I said, the more he prints, the cheaper it gets, right? I think he made about the, he made. Let's see, I did the calculations before. He made I think about the same as Doug. Shoot, if he's smart, he would have made more. He would have made way more. Yeah, I think about it. His tax bracket. Even though he made a million dollars, he's had a way lower tra tra uh, tax bracket than than you and well than anybody else in the U.S. Because you live in Canada, so disregard that. But he's taxed at like fifteen percent, you know, on that money because he's a he's a he's a business owner because that was his business. So everything he did during that time is a tax write off. 
the shipping, the handling, the production, the printing costs, all, all that gives him tax credit. So it's not like he suffered a whole bunch. And I'm telling you right now, that's not how that works. Now, I understand that, that there's a big cost associated with all of that. But most of that cost is offset into tax credits. If you if you have a competent accountant that knows what they're doing, you're paying pennies on pennies on those taxes, as opposed to someone like me who has a working man's salary. You know, I'm getting taxed at 30%. He's probably getting taxed at 10 to 15% on that one million he made. Think about that. That's still a lot of money because of the sum of money it is, but. It's not as as not as a desperate thing as people are saying. If he was smart, he 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 has he should have built enough tax credit so he don't have to pay taxes on any more endeavors that he does with these books for the next couple of years. Because tax credits roll over. But anyway, I digress. I digress. You know. <laughs> but that's just me. And you know, I could be completely and totally wrong, but I doubt it. But I doubt it. Yeah, if they all set up LLCs, and boom, this is this is considered a, a, a small business. I don't think it's a really good idea to talk about it in too much depth. I got you, brother. But anyway. I digress on all that, you know, it's like, uh, like I said, what just happened? Real ears would be nice. <laughs> yes, indeed. Let's see what we got going on. Other people going on. All right, cool. Let me see. Stream yards is empty. All right. Well, back to Inkin. <clears throat> no, but it's pretty good. I mean, that that um the article was interesting to say the least. Just uh kind of amazing, you know. The thing that uh my comment was, I still haven't received it to this day. I still haven't received my copy, which is, which is the thing that's been annoying me the most out of everything. Let's see, nobody popping in. Everybody's quiet in the chat. Yeah, man. But like I said, man, I hope everybody's enjoying their. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> cold weather, man. Cold weather. Cold weather does be terrible. Hope everybody's enjoying their New Year's. I know that I'm going to as much as I can. And just kind of be on chill mode. So is everybody caught up on uh, The Mandalorian? If, if so, let me know what you th your thoughts on the last episode. Not New Year's yet, says Lady Celtic Book. In other news, four to five pages of FPS agent are pretty much ready for that. Indiegogo, 21 pages of Veil War are ready to go with lettering. Going to have a thermal printer soon. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Forgot that you was working on something. It's been a while since I saw you on here, so. But anyway, um, like I was, I was saying, has everybody caught up on the Mandalorian? Two episodes last for me to watch this. Save the deeds. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> we can't, we can't talk about it. Then I need to figure out what to do with the seven left over pages and decide what to do for logo and possibly come up with a company name. Nice. Tilly says left. I'm always working on stuff. Episode eight was great. Finished the season one. Says Trusty. Yeah, I liked it. This is the way. This is the way, Trusty. This is the way. 
Yeah, I, I kind of enjoyed it. We can't really talk much about it. I don't have streaming services, so no Baby Yoda for me, says Maranya. Save all the memes that float around. Save, save for all the memes that float around. Oh uh, well, I'll be honest with you. It it's actually a really good show. I I'm not gonna lie, I I enjoy it immensely. So Watch the first two episodes of the Imagineer story tonight. Love that stuff. All right, cool. Cool. Anybody? Uh, what about The Witcher? Has anybody seen that yet? I think that's going to be the next thing I'm going to try to watch. So if anybody's watched The Witcher, let me know what y'all think about it. And see, uh, we'll have to start remodeling. Yep, on the Witcher. Hey, Nighthawk Warrior, how you doing, bud? Nighthawk Warrior is in the house. Hope you're doing well. Oh, thanks, man. That's really appreciated, man. Always good to have someone drop by and leave a like. Oh, I forgot about Lost in Space. I forgot about Lost in Space. I watched the first season. Kind of enjoyed that. So, yeah, I might try to check it out this this week. And hopefully uh, I can get a little bit of catching up on some stuff. That would be awesome. It'd be really awesome, actually. Which is bloody awesome. Watch every episode in one night. <laughs> Damn, Ricey. Got no life. <laughs> Ricey said, I, I know life, The Witcher. Just went straight no life. Watch it in one night. Shoot, I can't do that. I, I have things I got to do. I almost finished with season two of Lost in Space. So many Netflix shows to catch up on. Yep. I, I kind of went away from Netflix. But our library um, has a, like a Roku, right? And uh, they have a Netflix account and a Vudu account. So you rent that from them, right? And you, you get to keep it for a week. And that's how I'm going to try to catch up on all this. <laughs> that's how I'm going to try to catch up. I'm not paying for Netflix anymore. Just, just go to the library and get that. Listening to History of the World podcast, only something like a 100-hour long podcast. Wow. To wow, like y'all can watch that in one night. I'm 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 impressed because I can't do that. I cannot. I could try. I used to try to do that with uh the Punisher and um Daredevil, where I would try to watch it in one night. Um, but I would not make it. I would have to tap out eventually. I do not play for it's like my aunt who pays for family account. Oh, nice. Right, so it says, I never played the games, but I was hooked after episode one of The Witcher. Oh, yeah. You know what? If you got Game Pass, Ryzy, uh Witcher is free on Game Pass, The Witcher 3, so you could play it. Uh, Xbox Game Pass has The Witcher, uh, Witcher 3 for free. But it's not free. You know, if you got the Game Pass subscription, you're actually paying for it, but not full price. You just kind of you kind of renting it, kind of like Netflix used to rent movies back in the day, or GameFly. That's what Game Pass is. It's more like a Microsoft version of GameFly. Racist <laughs> is nice. I'll download that later. Good man. 
I downloaded it the other day. I just haven't got around to playing it yet. Um, Because I was like, oh, you get Witcher 3 on Game Pass? I'm doing it. Uh, Trusty said Witcher 3 was a great game. No one is showing up for stream. No, it looks like um, it looks like I'm rolling solo. I'm keeping an eye out on StreamYard just to see what happens. Um, but yeah, no, it seems I did post it on the thing, I think. I, I, yeah, I sent a link on the Twitter group. So I don't know. You know, everybody's it's the it's the holidays, right? So what what are you expecting? You know, it's it's the holidays. People are probably traveling, you know, spending time with family, uh, you know, and stuff like that. I wasn't really expecting anybody to show up, but I always throw the invite out, you know, and uh, and do those kind of things, you know, see what happens. We'll see what happens, you know, can't get mad. Just keep keep it moving. I trust this I could kick Trusty into the screen. <laughs> Well, if he comes on, I'll know. I'll know because uh, I got it set up now, so I don't have to keep looking at at uh, Streamyard to see if anybody's joining in or not. Just it just plays a nice little sound. And says, "Hey, someone's joined." So if he comes, I'm ready. Everybody loves Trusty though. Trusty got that great art, you know. But, you know, like I said, people are doing things, being with their family. I'm nursing a sore throat. I don't have much in the way of voice today. Oh, I hope you feel better, bud. Hope you feel better, you know. Shoot, my brother's YouTube channel seems to be blowing up. He's doing uh, boxing uh, videos. Uh, and that seems to be the ticket for him, man. He's, he seems to be... You know, picking up steam. Pretty happy for him. Yeah, he, uh, he got invited um, to a fight to cover it. That's pretty exciting. We'll see if he does or doesn't go. That's pretty cool, though. You know, we'll see. Probably going to be mad at me because I mentioned it. Want someone who's joined to join you? I mean, sure, you know. Anybody anybody can come that wants to come. I mean, and I only stream for a couple of hours. So it's like an hour and a half. But, uh, yeah, man. Are you, are you trying to join Shady Deeds? Usually, uh, Josh will come on. Trusty will come on. Um, you know, uh, Shinobi, he works today, so he can't come on tonight. You know, and those things happen. What's up, Kronos? How you doing, man? I was working at a car shop all day, sold 440 Asian cards. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What's up, Kronos? How you doing, man? Yeah, it's been an interesting five, a few days for you. I've been watching a couple of your vids. Uh, said you're going to be doing most of your most of your good stuff on BitChute. BitChute. I don't even know what that is. I'm just going to take your word for it. I oh, mean, that's awesome, man. Um, let's see what we'll do. Let's see what we do. Uh, we can do a quick invite. Uh, copy the clipboard. Here you go. It's posted in the public chat, in the public forum. I know I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna re I might regret that. I might regret that. Um, let's see. I found out I was up with YouTube. It's everyone being shifted from classic to YouTube and it's bored stuff. Ah. That's interesting. Jason G funny didn't show my message. Ah. I don't know. 
There you go. Uh, that's the link to the stream yard for uh, Shady Deeds or whoever wants to pop in if y'all want to pop in. But I got four times video count on BitChute than YouTube. Ten subs on BitChute, 400 on YouTube. Okay. I don't know much about BitChute, man, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I barely know what's going on with DLive. DLive is, is like the other place. Like, I'm streaming. I'm multicasting right now here and DLive and Twitch and, um, you know, everywhere else, you know, basically. I say hi there, but just to show my message. That's weird. <laughs> Dragon said, um, I should color the Psylog image. I started, but I don't want to. Well, then don't, man, but you should. And Jason, uh, sorry that, that we didn't see your message, man, but um, I'm glad you're here, man. Thanks for showing up. Um, and, um, you know, we're seeing your message now, so so thanks, bud. Thanks. Uh, you can sign up to BitChute and put YouTube in it, and out of downloads and puts them in. I had 335 bids at BitChute with double traffic than YouTube. Wow. Okay. That, that's pretty cool. That might be something else I might look into. You know, but I don't know uh, if if what I do it's really translatable to something like that. You know, we kind of like a like a like a show, but not really. You know what I'm saying? Seven hundred bits on YouTube. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, so I'm kind of kind of interesting. Yeah, I have to definitely check that out. Oh, somebody popped into StreamYard. Hold on. Let me change the tab over. <laughs> and add. And change. Oh, what? Uh, I'm using Clip Studio. Uh, Clip Studio Paint EX is what I'm using. Shady, can you hear me? Are you here? Well, you're here. I don't know if anybody can hear you. How about now? Yep, I can hear you now. All right, man. All <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm using Clip Studio too. Oh, oh yeah, cool. Yeah, Clip Studio is pretty, pretty easy to use. As Jason was asking me what we're using, I'm using Paint Shop Pro 9. All right. Yeah, I haven't used Paint Shop. I think to me, Clip Studio is probably about the easiest one to use. But like I said, I haven't tried any of the other ones, so I guess I'm I'm a I'm a hostage of the first one that I really tried that I liked, you know. But, I mean, I did try Photoshop, but uh, you know, I'm not a fan of Photoshop. I know yeah. a lot of people used to use it to do their artwork, but. I, I just find it harder. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really like Photoshop too much. I, I do like Clip Studio. Someone told him look up Krita. Krita, look up Jay Christine on YouTube. He's a photo professional that I help go Adobe free. That's right. I forgot. Um, da -da -da -da. let's see. Okay, Chronos, cause my thumbnails are using Paint Shop Pro Nine or Photoshop harder. Yeah. I'm not a fan of Photoshop, to be honest with you. Uh, I know some people use it, um, but it's just like, um, I don't know, you know? And then Chrono says he can texture paint in Unreal, so now it will be drawing in it. Nice, man. Because uh, Chronos does video. He's doing video games. He's doing some pretty good stuff, man. If y'all haven't checked out his channel, it's pretty cool what he can do. Most of the stuff he says he gets for free. So it's pretty cool. So Shinobi's not here? Or, wait, well, you said he's working today? Yeah, Shinobi works today. Yeah. Shinobi works today. <coughs> so, you know, um, he can be on on Tuesdays. He can be on on Thursdays. But, you know, he works today. So that's why he's not going to be on today. Ah, because I usually follow like Shinobi stuff and whatnot. Yeah, he's a good, he's a cool guy. You know, he's been he's been with us on the digital bullpen for a while. Yeah, I've 
just haven't been online. Uh, like, I used to draw all the time. I think I used to... I don't think it was a digital bullpen, but, like, someone else was doing some, uh, like, uh, I guess, uh, streaming, and I used to join them, but my father got, like, a heart, well, almost had a heart attack, and then ended up with a stroke, so the last few months I've been taking care of him. Oh, yeah? So, mm-hmm. How's he doing? Is he doing better, or? Oh, yeah. Just it's gonna be a while until he makes a full recovery. Uh, the stroke kind of fucked him up. Yeah, they they have a tendency to do that. I know, like uh, my grandfather had one. He was never the same. You know. Oh yeah, he's he's not gonna be the same. It's just right now we're trying to get him to communicate without like repeating or forgetting. Yeah. Uh, and but yeah, so like right now. I'm Get my uh, drawing skills back up. You know, it's a nice little hobby, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I like it. I mean, I'm never going to do anything crazy with it, but I do enjoy inking and, you know, stuff like that. I like having the people on and talking with them. So I kind of enjoy it. It's kind of a relaxing hobby for me. Oh, no, I've been seeing some of that inking sh- looking tight. I've been working on it, working on it, you know. I've uh, definitely been in, like I I've, I can tell from my old stuff to my new stuff that I, that I've made a couple of, a little bit of improvement. So it's just it, I think it has more to do with like the pencils that I grab. You know, like these are Paul Pelletier pencils, so they're pretty awesome. You know, kind of hard to mess them up. <laughs> right. You know they they're pretty good. Uh, I don't think I can mess them up too much. I could be mistaken. I might be able to mess them up, but I hope not. Yeah. They're talking about <coughs> they're, they're talking about drawing software again, so they're good to go on their end. Yeah, but yeah, man. So that's so. Other than that, man, what what's up in your life? Have you uh, watched uh, the Mandalorian? Oh man, I've been loving that. I I'm I. I I think the last episode I saw was uh, when they were on the prison ship. Okay, okay, so you're a couple of episodes behind. I thought it was like only two, maybe three, but I think it's just two. Yeah, you're 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 a little bit behind, just a little bit behind, but uh, it it get, it picks up. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> when I saw Bill Burr in there, I kind of lost it. Yeah, no, it's funny, right? But it, the thing was, he wasn't like. Bill Burr, Bill Burr. You know what I'm saying? I was hoping, yeah. but yeah, yeah. No, he, he's actually a pretty good actor. Yeah, he's pretty good. But I was expecting more, like you know, like his. I mean, he was quick with it, but I was, I was expecting a little more, like a little more of that Bill Burr flavor. You know what I'm saying? Because I love some insults. Yeah, because I love Bill Burr, man. Like I watch mm-hmm. his comedy stuff all the time. I think he's hilarious. I think so. I mean, but like I tell people, uh. Bill Burr is an acquired taste, you know. <laughs> Some really people find him too abrasive, but I, I kind of enjoy him. Yeah, that, I really loved his uh, what you call it the the um, the popular joke. Fifty percent of you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I watched his rant when he went off on on the crowd in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. And then he kept counting it down. Ten more minutes. And then he'd go back in on him. <laughs> oh my lord. That was hilarious, man. I think he's funny, man. I do I do watch a lot of people that do reactions to Bill Burr. Like oh yeah. You know, like uh and they just like this guy. And I think he's hilarious, man. Like like people might not understand him, but like I like people like Robin Williams and Bill Burr, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I love the the Eddie Murphys and um, for the wow. world as well, and the Cat Williams and the and of course Dave Chappelle. Well, Eddie Murphy. I mean, it used to be like he, he, when I found his old uh, stand-ups, Eddie Murphy was completely different than Eddie Murphy now. <laughs> right? No, he was way more raw and uncut back then. Now he's more. Um, Mellow? Commercial, mellow, yeah. mellow, 
more more commercial, more 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 appealing to the commercial palette. Now he did a he just did a Netflix movie, uh, Rudy Raymore. Mm -hmm. So that was that was kind of back to his uh, kind of raw raw type to, uh, comedy. Really, I didn't yeah. look that up. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, uh, I think it's it's called Dolomite or something like that. The root uh, root Raymore Dolomite. Basically, it's it's the Dolomite story. Right, right, right. So, because I know uh, what's his face just did another movie, uh, Six Feet Under, or I think it was called. Yeah, that's uh, Ryan Reynolds, right? Ryan, yeah, yeah, that came out all right. The Netflix, but Netflix will surprise you with some movies now. Yeah, especially uh, like I know the first movie they surprised me with was uh, Bright. Was oh yeah, Bright? Bright was actually good. I liked it. Yeah. Like yeah, they threw me off. I, I I really thought it was gonna be like a what do you call it? Like a typical like sci-fi film that's kind of like B-rated. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Idolamite, yeah. Tronos, uh, Netflix. Uh, shoot, I, I, I watched it the other. I watched it not too long ago. My wife put it on, and we was rolling, uh, rolling on the floor, man. It was so hilarious because. Uh, it was a Dolomite story. It was uh, <laughs> Eddie Murphy? Uh, let me let me Google real quick. Eddie Murphy Dolomite. Yeah, Dolomite is my name. Is the name of the movie, and it stars Eddie Murphy. Yep. So that's the name of it. Dolomite is my name with Eddie Murphy. It's hilarious. Now that I think about it, wasn't that Dolomite, like an actual actor back in the day, like in... yeah, yeah. This is his story. It's it's hilarious. If you watch it, man, you you'll love it, man. I'm telling you right now, it's it's well, it is all about Dolomite and how he came to be. Wait, that's on Netflix. That is on Netflix. Oh, might have to stop streaming just to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or if you watch it, just just you know mute your mic. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's on Netflix, man. Uh, kind of local sports is in the house. Giving the thumb up. Giving the thumb. Up. Yeah, it's uh, so it's Dolomite is my name. It's on Netflix. If y'all haven't uh, checked it out, if y'all like Eddie Murphy and that and that uh, that style of comedy, uh, comedy, I think you'll like it. The scene at the end of Dolomite is my name is what a professional should try to be. Yep. Yeah, no, that was all about how how he persevered through everything, man. Like he bet on himself, uh, he, you know, and, and and all that stuff. But in between it is all his, you know, all his famous like Dolomite uh, jokes and stuff, like his stories, like way down the jungle deep. All that stuff is on there. So if you if you like that kind of stuff, man, you you, I think you'll enjoy the movie. I thought it was very enjoyable, but it. Yeah, I, it, gotta, it I don't know. Is definitely adult themed, so you know that's not gonna stop me. No, no, I you know, I'm hoping it don't, but I'm just you know, just in case, you know, somebody don't say, Man, you told my kid he could watch Dolomite. No, 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 I did not. <laughs> that's uh, that's 100% confirmed. He just said your kid could watch it, right? There there, there's mother, there's other words between those, but let's take them out of context. Let's take everything out of context, because that's what we do. That's what we do. We take everything out of context. Nah, but it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. Um, you know, if you haven't watched it, I can't prepare for Dolomite. <laughs> yeah, prepare for Dolomite boobs. Yeah, Dolomite definitely, definitely. That was, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh. 156 for a round trip to New York, man. Might have to book a flight. Cool, man. I asked, asked my brother, kind of local. He's uh, he he might be doing some good stuff in New York. Check his channel out. He does boxing, so if you like boxing, when he does that New York trip, you know, just stay tuned. He's gonna go uh, go do some big things. He's actually uh, started out YouTube in a boxing channel, and he might be going down there as a uh, as a uh, what it call that in a in a reporting capacity, you might actually be able to go to the fights, talk to fighters, and.
do a little bit of record, uh, reporting and talking and interviewing. And that's going to be pretty awesome if he gets a chance to do that. So stay tuned, man. Big things are happening. Big things are happening. So does it feel for your team to get wrecked by what's the other team? LCD or what? not LCD. Oh, LSU. 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 Man, that was LSU. horrible, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was watching some of it and I'm not too much of a sports fan, but I'm going like, are they even trying? Dude, that was like, like what? <laughs> that was a horrible, that was an embarrassment. Well, the thing with Oklahoma is they don't have defense. They have offense. They're never been a, they haven't been a good defensive team in forever. Uh, well, I mean, after watching that game, I think it's obvious to everyone they don't have no defense. Yeah, they have defense. They don't have defense. They're all offense. Like, uh, they're complete, you know. Man, but LSU a monster since my brother. Yeah, LSU LSU was definitely the better. Well, obviously, based on the score, LSU was the better team, you know. But the way LSU beat down Oklahoma, it made it seem like Oklahoma had no business. No business. <laughs> Being that in night, anyway. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think Oklahoma – I, I think that game could have been played 10 times, and I think Oklahoma would have uh, Oklahoma would have lost all 10. You know, I, And I'm an Oklahoma Sooner fan, but I think 10 out of 10, LSU would have beat them, man. I think I was watching the game of uh, Oklahoma with the Tigers. I think that was like a few nights ago. Yeah, that's the LSU game. Oh, because I was watching a, a later program or a later match, and – I think they had an interview with one of the LCU's the quarterback. He was going like that wasn't even the perfect game. We we, we got sloppy in the beginning. Yeah, that was sloppy. I kind of quit. <laughs> yeah, well, my brother, he's a uh, Palo Romero artist is in the house. My brother said Alabama couldn't even stop LSU, and that's that's crazy because Alabama's that now that's a defensive team in the in the college ranks. You know, Nick Saban's defense are legendary. You know, I mean, they got obviously they got a good offense as well. But uh, Alabama, man, their, their defense is 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 amazing. They're pretty good defensively. My brother's saying that Alabama couldn't stop LSU, man. I I can see, I can see, <laughs> I can see why Oklahoma had a hard time. It, we're just not, we're just never been a. Well, I mean, back in the heyday, we had good defense and good uh, good running game, but in this era. Our defense is like non-existent, and we just got a good offense, so we score a lot. But if we can't score, we can't beat anybody. LSU had defense and offense, so that that was that was pathetic. And then, of course, to cap it off, the Cowboys got you know they 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 tanked at the end of the season and they didn't make the playoffs. So, eh, you know. So now, like, I'm not even watching football now. I'm like, ah, I'm done with it. Like, my season year. is, my season is over. I'm not, you know, I, I tell people I'm not an NFL fan. I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. And the Cowboys ain't playing. I ain't watching. <laughs> people get mad, but it's the truth. That's just how I feel. You know, if the Cowboys ain't playing, I ain't watching. I, I'm Fair not enough. watching. And because I'm a Cowboys fan, that's that's what I do. If uh, if they're not on the on the thing, you know, I'm not I'm not committed to it, you know, like people are like uh, like oh no, you know, I gotta watch every single game. I watch I watch NFL Game Pass. I watch every nah man. I watch the Cowboys, and then after that, I turn the TV off. <laughs> Win, lose, or draw. After that, I catch the rest of my sports on uh, sports talk shows in the morning, and uh, and that's how I know what else is going on. But like me to sit down and watch, you know, two or three games on a on a Sunday, nah, that's not happening. That's just not happening. Kind of local says his his season is over with too. His team sucks. Yeah, he's a Washington Redskins fan. We want y'all. We want to thank y'all for giving us that moral victory at the end of the season. But it wasn't, you know, at first. At first, I thought nobody wanted to win the game. Because Dallas and Washington, which just kept kept doing some dumb stuff, like, oh, you know what? We don't want to win the game. We're, we're done for the season. You win the game. And then eventually Dallas just opened it up a little bit. And it's not like Washington gave up because they sure didn't. They, was, they tried to stay in that game because I guess pride took over after a minute. 
At the first, they were trying to give each other a game, and then they were like, nah, no, 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 no. Oh, Jason says he's got to go. He's he's working at the office. Hey, Jason, have a wonderful day at the office, brother. Thank you for joining us. Thank you know and, and showing support. I hope you have a wonderful New Year's because I won't be on till after, probably on a Thursday. Um, so I hope you have a blessed New Year, man, and and enjoy, man. Be good out there. Yeah. What about you, Connor? You working tonight too? I think I don't see my brother. His he says he works nights. I used to work nights. Oof. No, as a matter of fact, I didn't used to work nights. I'll start at night, and then it'll be sometime in the afternoon the next day by the time my replacement got there. Right, right. Only good thing about the Cowboys and the Cheaters, I'm an old-school Redskins fan, so Cowboys suck to me. I get it. I ain't mad at that. <laughs> kind of local says he's working. Jason says bye-bye to everybody. Had to sneak in on you, though. I appreciate it, brother, man. Showing me a little bit of love, a little bit of support, man. I ain't, I ain't mad at that, man. I ain't mad at that. You know, not mad at all. You, you can hear the tensions in his voice right now. He's super angry. <laughs> nah, nah. And uh, Mariah says, good to see you. Kind of trusty says, the high point of this football season was Liberty University going to the first bowl game and winning. All right, two thumbs up from Kano, he says. He must have logged in on both of his accounts. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think Trusty Son goes to Liberty, so that's why he was excited about that. You know, he was super excited. Yeah, man, so what are you drawing, brother? I'm working on my 2019 avatar. Oh, it's for you. It's for me. But right. uh I see you I see you trying to dress him up dapper with a vest and everything. Well well hang on, let me see if I got my old avatar, but basically I'm sticking with the whole like, detective game that I had. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just making him like he just gave up on everything. But um Trying to uh, trying to come up with a style, add like maybe a vest this time, right. rather than just like a plain um, button up shirt. Right. You know, vests are nice, man. I like them. I think vests are stylish. Oh, I wear them all the time. You know, I think I think uh, they're not bad. I got some in the in the closet. I wear them on depending on seasons. You know, like I don't wear them all the time, but I definitely like I find a nice season where it's not too cold, not too warm. Where I could just you know throw on a vest because I I don't want to hide the vest I want to show the vest when I wear it you know what I mean? <laughs> no, yeah. Oops, no, that's... I usually. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean, man. You know, I, I guess because you know you know the vest the vest will make it make an outfit for show sure. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, I got a nice like kind of like a design type of vest with a dark reddish uh t-shirt and the vest is black. Comes out nice. Right. That's a chrono says actually caught a little sound off the last minute of this stream. <laughs> Those things happen. Those things happen, man. But I'm glad you know everybody's enjoying the stream and all that good stuff. I have to check on that bit shoot thing that Tronos is talking about. Because uh, he does a lot of gaming. I mean, not, well, he does gaming, but he also does game videos, meaning like he does like his rendering videos for games. Right. It's pretty cool if you haven't checked it out, man. Like he actually does like the coding and stuff. And it's, I mean, it's pretty cool, man. That's all I can say. Yeah. If you, it's just like really cool how he does it, man. You know, it. I, you know, I used to go to uh, physically to an art institute before they closed down the doors, so the game coding could get really complex. Yeah. If, 
<laughs> My friend didn't know what he was doing either, so he just made things worse. Let's see. Ryan says, if the weather is cold at Renfair, I wear my one B trim vest over the pirate shirt. I used to wear vests a lot back in the day. Yeah, but I, vest, man, I, you know, people, people shouldn't underestimate a good vest, man. I'm trying to tell you right now. I'm trying to tell you, man. I know my Can wife would look. My wife was looking at me crazy, like, "What? Why are you wearing a vest?" Because I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. So, if you see my screen, this is basically the avatar I usually use. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Up until next time. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, I think a vest would definitely, uh, definitely help. Just a little bit, add a little pizzazz to it. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, I've been feeling he's a little plain. I mean, I could add shading and all that too, but uh, that was just an old comic that I had. Right. Uh, a few months old, I should say. But... Right, right. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. I would actually want to finish this because... Uh, I got this comic going, and it's actually Shinobi's character going to beat the shit out of the Avatar I'm using. Oh yeah, and Shinobi's yeah, pretty yeah. good with his little short stories and uh, and and stuff. Man, he's not bad. Just uh, like he was, uh, <coughs> he he was on Manny's comic book, uh, the Skunk Girl, Unbeatable Skunk Girl. Right. So he did a nice little short story. I don't know if you were able to catch that. No, I, I needed. I wanted to support that in in the go go, but it's just like the timing was bad. Because uh, around that time, that's when my father was first admitted to the hospital. So right. when it came out, so I went like, "Ah, oh, crap!" But my money needed to go focus on other things, so oh. I couldn't really support the book. Right. Well, it's not a bad book, and um. If you're interested, I got an extra copy running around somewhere. Ooh, so, so much. <laughs> not just um, my email is on on my page, so just shoot me an email and and we'll work out the details. All right, all right. It'll just be shipping and handling. Yeah, I, I well, do that all the time with Wish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just pay. I'll just you know just get you with shipping and handling. I'm not gonna charge you for the book. I just, you know, I got an extra copy. I got to do, I do have to make sure I get one extra copy. To, I think the guy is a uh, spider ninja or something like that. I promised him one before the book came out. I haven't really been able to get a hold of him, though. And then that's it. I gave one to my local comic. Uh, I gave a copy to my local comic book store. Just gave it to him just so they could, you know, read it and, Give me feedback and you know see if maybe next time Manny has a has an Indiegogo, an yeah, you know maybe next time he has an Indiegogo, maybe they they'll be like, hey, you know it's book two coming out or whatever, then I can maybe mm -hmm. point him to that Indiegogo, you know, you know you got to build build slow, build slow, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I the the when I saw that vi um like the video, like mm -hmm. I was really into the. I think it was Manny who was doing his own uh, stream at the time. Yeah, no, he he did a lot of uh, um, streaming to build up the audience, and yeah. uh, and I think he uh, he's now that he's done with a book. I think he's doing like I like I might I'm trying not to stream too much during the holidays because I know people want to spend time with their families and and whatnot, you know. So I think he's gonna take a break. He's doing the uh, a show on Saturdays, I think. Uh, but I think he did it one Saturday, and then he kind of took a breather. Uh, the Manny, uh, what is it called? The Aloha Dingo Hour with him and Rising. All right. Yeah, but yeah. Um, find my email on my um, on my YouTube page, and uh, shoot me an email and remind me who you are. And we'll work out the details. And I'm not gonna charge you for the book, man. Like, like I said, just shipping and handling. <clears throat> right. You know, because I probably oh. uh, probably have to get a, a Gemini mailer because I don't want it to get wrecked after all that trash I talked about solo. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You know. 
Uh, yeah, I remember that that what Stealing Solo comic. Yeah, was. yeah, that's what that was. And it was like really disappointing from what I saw, <laughs> like as far as the shipping was concerned. They shipped it like a magazine, bro. Oh, that was so sad, man. No, no mailer, no nothing, just like oh. it was a pamphlet, you know. Did you get yourself a the what you call it, the Earthwind Jim comic? I did, machine? man. I got that one. I, I, Doug Tenaple is a person that I'm going to back. I don't know if I'm going to be backing him at those high tiers, but I'll definitely back his next book uh, because he delivers and he gives out some really good uh, presentation, you know, good boxing, good everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, did, did you get like the, which tier did you go after? Uh, I think I got like just the book, um, a couple of sketch, just the book. I just I think I just went with the book, just the book. Yeah, I went with that higher tier. The I think he had it for seventy, but with the shipping and all that, it was like almost a uh, hundred bucks. Right. Oh, uh, but the book came out beautiful. Yeah, the book is amazing, dude. I like the, how it does the the hardcover, the bound, hardbound hardcover. You know, it looks amazing, dude. Yeah, because I grew up with that game, so I had to get that uh, the making of Earthworm Jim. Yeah. And then whatever else that came with it was just icing with the three uh, printed art pieces. Right. Yeah, mine came with a poster. Um, came with a poster. Came with some. Uh, came with a little cards. The book, the cards. Yeah. Hey, so it had a. Uh, uh, let's see. Chrono says he don't keep his word. As far as I'm concerned, he sat there here went to the live when he went back and that in his own life. Don't, don't matter what he delivers a book if he treats people like oh, man. I don't, I don't even pay attention to that dude. That's a long time ago, but he does deliver on his books, man. I can't get mad. I cannot be upset about other stuff, but like when I back him. All I'm caring about is, is he going to get the book out on time? And is the artwork going to be amazing? And on those two counts, the man hasn't disappointed. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bro, we've been streaming for like a year, man. It, it's It's been pretty long, man. I don't know. I, I, don't, I actually don't even remember the incident, to be honest with you. I've been I've been doing streams for like a year now. It's been it's been a while for me, man. I've been streaming with Manny. <clears throat> if he fed you, he fed you around, you have to deal you deal with ideal on him. Oh, if he f you around, you'd have a different ideal on him. Oh, that's right. That was with you. Yeah. See. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I can understand. It's like, I'm sure I'm missing something here. <laughs> well, him and I think Kronos is talking about something that happened between him and Doug, and and because Doug is doing video games, and I think I think that he was gonna be on Kronos's uh, channel, and then he probably joined someone else's channel instead. Yeah, hold on, someone popped in. Oh, it's the famous Good Dog Press Aloha Money. Famous, dude. Yeah. Man, you got a you got a comic book, you know? Infamous? Nah, I'm the infamous one. You're the famous one. Uh, I just do what I do, and I try to stick to my own damn thing. I hear you, buddy. <laughs> try so not to, try not to do anything stupid, and stupid comes to you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's inevitable. Yeah, that's a lot, right, a lot of out there, man. A lot of haters. I, I will not even worry about it, man. You know, no, I don't. we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't dwell on that kind of stuff. I, I definitely oh, don't. Moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, man. All right, we got some shady bees in the house. Yeah, he uh, he joined in. You know, I sent, a, I put the link out there. You know, because he was like, hey, you want someone to keep your company since. You're rolling solo? I like sure. Why not? You know how I do. All right. Have everybody shared this thing out on your guys' Twitter and your your Instagram and your? It Facebook? looks like it. It Help looks like it. Out. Get some more people in here. Because uh, 
We actually got 10 people on, which is pretty good for me. Baranya <laughs> says, Benny, aloha. <laughs> yeah, bro. So so how was your anniversary, bro? Oh, man, ate too much. <laughs> I, do, I do that when it's not my anniversary. <laughs> right. So much last night. Oh, man, it was good. It was really good. It was good, man. That's good stuff, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, the VIPs in the chat checking up on oh, me. Oh, the unbreathable skunk girl. <laughs> That's one of my favorite. Speak of the devil. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> and she still got the icon. That's what I'm talking about. She still uh, got the skunko pop. Yeah, yeah. she still got the skunko pop because she don't know how to change it. That's why. Oh, <laughs> but she knew how to change it to the skunko pop. I'm, I'm joking. She knows how to change it. <laughs> I'm getting myself in trouble. <laughs> I was gonna say she knew how to change it to the skunko pop. Yeah. I showed my wife the the the, the artwork I did on your book. Oh. <laughs> she thought it was hilarious. You know. And then what? of course I showed her the Borinconeer uh cover you did. She loved it. Cool. Yeah, man, everybody's pretty happy. Uh, so I guess uh Trusty and I have the same anniversary date. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're sitting there uh, confirming, confirming yeah. to one another. That's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. pretty cool, man. See, we're, we're not, we, we haven't been together as long as you have, Trusty. <laughs> uh, you know, Trusty, Trusty is uh, 29. Uh, definitely 29. Awesome. That is, that's, that's goals right there. Yeah, we, we've, only, we've only made our 13th, 13th year that's waiting. Still that's still goals for me, man. But the funny part is, we met a year before. You know, so we got we got married one year after we met. Wow, yeah, and that's nice. No, no, that's 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 good. I got married like about two years after I met my wife. Well, that's cool. I mean, you don't want to be those kind of people that live together for five, six years, and when they get married, they divorce right after. Yeah, that <laughs> seems like that doesn't work out too well, right? No, that whole it doesn't. Like, let's, let's let's live together, and then they get married, and they're like, "Yeah, we're done." <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know what happened, y'all. Didn't y'all live together for like three years? Yeah, I, I think yeah. my I think my parents were only together for like nine months, and they got married. But when you know, you know, right? Yeah, it's like I mean, back in the day, I guess. You know, there was no such thing as you going out together for five, six years. Oh, we're gonna live together. Oh, people got married back then. <laughs> people committed. You know? Yeah, yeah. But then things change. Laws change. Divorces were easy to do in court before. It was. It took forever to get a divorce. Now it's you know you just oh we just irreconcilable differences. Get divorced in a couple of days. Done deal. You know no. There's no. There's no repercussions or consequences. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man, you got to read poor Kronos' story. <laughs> That's sad. Let's see. After one marriage, <laughs> my dad lived with next lady for 30 years. Married her four years later. She's trying to take half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, oh, my. oh, She was just waiting her time. She, she was playing the long game. Yeah. Uh, thank Maranya for wishing myself and my wife a uh, happy anniversary. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I have to get. Um... We actually met in 1982. We lived on opposite ends of the same hall in college, didn't start dating until we were both in different grad schools. <laughs> wow. Makes sense. Yeah, Miranda said, uh, Unbreakable Conquer says, uh, Mahalo Nui Lao. I have no idea if I even Mahalo said that right. Mahalo Nui Loa. There you go. Thank you very much. That's what it means. There you I go. Don't know, I don't know what the, what I just said, but. You, if, you, yeah, I don't know what you said, but what. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know well, what see, I, I said, but I know what it's supposed to be. Whatever it is that Manny said, that's what it was supposed to be. Mahalo Nui Loa. Make sure when you do pronounce any Hawaiian word, just like any Indian word, pronounce every single vowel. Okay, so every single vowel is a syllable. So that's that's the easy way to do it, and you have no problem. 
Take it slow. Take it slow. Don't take don't take it slow. Fast. I don't know. My Puerto Rican accent gets in the way. Uh, it's like ah uh, ah. Uh, don't say it. Don't don't mind don't, me. Don't I'm just saying hello to everyone. I uh, know you. You're angry <laughs> typing again. What? Oh, I'm angrily typing nice stuff. <laughs> You know, because we do this to our guys all the time. So when Tank had his thing the other day, I went in there and I said, Trusty, and and I forget who else, Tank. And John Malin go, what about Malin? <laughs> oh, yeah, he was on that stream, wasn't he? Yeah, he was he in was, the chat. I was like, he was in the chat, but I was like, you're not part of the Dog Stars digital bullpen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I know I watched it for a little bit. I was trying to show some support to Mr. Mr. Uh, Tank Barrett. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Mariah says, the only Hawaiian I speak is poi, luau, pineapple, and macadamia nuts. Uh, macadamia, I don't think it's Hawaiian. Hmm. Because the macadamia nut did not come from Hawaii. Oh, no. Yeah, now you're about to... Now you're about to make some people's lives not be no, so great. Right. We grow it here, but but it's not from here. It's not indigenous to Hawaii. Mm. Mm. Neither was sugar cane to Puerto yeah, Rico. Indigenous to to Australia. <laughs> so it came from Australia. What? It came from Rising 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 back, backyard. That's where it came from. Paulo says he's not in our exclusive club. What? He's talking about Malin not being in our exclusive club. Oh. <laughs> oh, our exclusive club that doesn't do anything mean to anybody. <laughs> uh, we're the, I mean, we're the most boring DM group ever. <laughs> uh, that's because we stay away from. Yeah, boom, it's like, why? Why stay away from the boom boom? Yep. Boom boom. Yeah, we, we do boom boom, boom, boom in, in, the, in in our private lives. That's that's what we do. <laughs> Keep it private. Boom boom room. Keep it private. <laughs> yeah. So you have a you have a lot going on. You had Christmas, anniversary, New Year's, man. Yeah. Oh man, it was. Uh, <laughs> and I've I've been off for two weeks. I've only got one week left before I gotta go back to work. Boo. Oh man, I'm I'm off this week. Yay. Um, I didn't know I was. I found out today when I got a, a nasty gram from my boss. <laughs> I forgot I had requested time off, but I was still came to work. And then I got an email like you, you're, um, you, you, you're, you're charging, you're billing for, uh, you're billing for 16 hours a day. I was like, I am. He said, Yeah, you're billing us too much. I was like, I am. So then they say, Yeah, look at this. I was like, Oh, I'm off. Okay. <laughs> okay. My bad. So you, you don't have to tell me twice. See you next week. How do you forget? How do you forget your you because they, they they make you schedule it so far out that I'm like, you know, I my life I just wake up every morning and go to work. Like, okay. I I just when I I don't check the schedules or the calendars. So I just keep rolling, you know. I'm like, oh, time to go that's to work. A, that's your mistake. That, no, I that day off. It's this day, uh, this time, uh, and it will be burned in my memory the moment I made it. Nah, not me, man. My job is my job is pretty relaxed, so it's not like I dread going to work or anything like that. I'm, you know. Right. Okay. Me. Let's go get one to read. All right. All right. Hold on. <laughs> All right, the invisible sculptor wants me to read something. So let me see. Tomorrow we will be eating Hawaiian food for New Year's. Laua, laua, lummi, salmon, kalau, kalua, pig, poke, and poi. <sighs> All right. And Likoi juice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got me to read, you got me to read that. <laughs> that was tough, man. No, it was tough. All it was was lao lao and lomi salmon. That was the only hard part. Poke, poi, lao lao, lomi salmon. 
But what you said pokey, right? Movie? I hope you didn't say polk. I said pokey. Oh, poke. Poke, poke. Poke. Gotta catch them poke. all. Poke. <laughs> <laughs> poke, man. So, I mean, we definitely not talk about taking over the world, says Pablo in our, in our own <laughs> chat, you know, that nobody knows about. Exclusive. Shh, shh, hush, 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 hush. <laughs> Oh no, what did it join? Kill him with kindness, you know, kill him with kindness. That's what we do. <laughs> That's what I do. I try. Uh, even though a lot of people disagree with that, but hey, whatever. Stop, you're killing me. You're gonna accept my kindness, you bastard. Yeah. <laughs> so what you drawing there, Shady Bees? Uh well, an avatar of mine, and I'm trying to do it for like the 2019, but it, I'm seen how the whole thing looks so i'm redrawing pretty much the whole character from this cool. this old one uh that i have but it's a little plain so he wants to put a vest on it you know get him spiffied up you know new year new world rule. that's what he said i don't know i don't judge See, he looks like a dirty old detective. Now he looks like a dirty old detective that stole the nice vest. <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Mariah says, I have smoked salmon and cream cheese on Melba toast for Christmas gift opening breakfast. And uh, the Unbreathable Skunker says, oh, that sounds yummy. Hey, Unbreathable Skunker, no more typing Hawaiian uh, long <laughs> words, okay? Uh, we're going to be nice to the Rican, and we ain't going to be doing all that. <laughs> hey, um, hey, skunk girl, could you just type in Hawaiian from now on? Does she even know? You know, she's originally a mainlander. <laughs> Good dog, Princess Kalani Anoela. <laughs> it's a highway. It's that one gets butchered all the time. It just makes me laugh. Uh, it's a cannoli. It's Kalani Anaole Highway. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got an even better one. Oh, everybody can sing this. Akuna Matata? No. This Akuna one, Matata. This one talked to me when I was a little kid. He's typing too much. I, I don't like this. Oh yeah, he goes. He goes into type into typing tantrums. You know, you just gotta. You know. Is that is that Hawaiian version of Kamehameha? No. Paolo says you should be able to pronounce that. E. I say humu humu nuku nuku apau apau. You're almost there. You're almost there. I messed it up at the end. You messed it up at the end. <laughs> I didn't finish strong. I started strong, mm-hmm. but I ran out of gas. We we had a when we were kids, we we were taught that song. It's it's about the fish. It's a humu humu nuku nuku apua'a. It's the fish that looks like a pig. Yeah. Or sounds like a pig. So it looks like a pig, sounds like a pig. It actually makes a grunting noise. It's cute. Big fish. And it actually was the state fish for a while, but it's weird. The state fish changes all the wow. time. Yeah, I don't I don't get that. Well, you know, uh, it's out of season. Oh, maybe, well, you don't want to eat that. It's, it's super small. It's not that big, that, that fish. It's a tiny trigger fish. No. Desperate times no. calls for desperate measures. You, you wouldn't get much out of it. You <laughs> 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 like, was that it? You know what? I, 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 <laughs> I don't deal with fish, so you're right. I'll be like, nope. That don't eat the fish. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on, skunk girl. Are you serious? Thank you, skunk girl. <laughs> oh, I dude. appreciate it. Oh. Ooh. Someone has to read that. Noelle Highway near Makapu. <laughs> Makapu? Yes. Makapu. I know, I know that posture you're supposed to do. I know that. And then, humu, 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 kum, 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 kum. You're nice in separating words. He should well, know the, the, thing, the thing with Hawaiian words is just like Spanish, uh, Latino words, you pronounce the vowels the same way. It's it's not like English. So 
that, that's why it should be easier too for a Spanish person to speak, you know, say the Hawaiian words. Except I'm always thinking in English now. Yeah. You know, I, 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 like uh, you should know better how I am with grammar. She's correcting your Hawaiian grammar. Now that's it. <laughs> that's it. A mainlander correcting an islander on his own grammar. I have, I have seen everything now. <laughs> Pablo's calling you a fake Latino. <laughs> oh. Pablo's calling me a fake. Well, you know, he is Pablo Romero. Right? Oh. He's uh, Instagram, Facebook. And oh. I, I also call out fake Latinos every so often. Don't don't worry, trustee. When you feel better, I'll, I'll make sure that we have a whole bunch of stuff that we can make you talk with that beautiful East Coast accent of yours. <laughs> Looks like it. Trustee, how's the throat feeling? Uh, like, you got what trustee get? You know, over there going to football games, yelling at people. Yep. I, I heard uh, it. He, they almost threw him out of the game. He was yelling so much. Yeah. That's yeah. what I heard. That's what I heard. It's funny because I gotta get back on my Spanish tip because I gotta, you know, I gotta teach, I gotta teach the baby how to speak Spanish. The thing is, I don't speak Spanish very often because I have no one to speak Spanish to. Like, no it's family? crazy. Like everybody's gone. Everybody's in, you know, in different states. Like I'm, and I'm married to an Americanish, kind of like. <laughs> so. <laughs> So that that's yeah, that's the funny part, right? I don't I don't I don't really talk that much. Oh, pobrecito. Yeah. I don't talk that much. Not as much as I used to. No practice. No practica. No hay practica. No practico nunca, nunca. My throat, got my throat coat team around you. Feels good. It was a basketball tournament, guys. Guys, it wasn't football, it was tournament. Well, I don't oh. know, man. So it so was we- fake. So it was fake news. It wasn't. It wasn't football. It was basketball. Nonetheless, no. nonetheless, it was the same. It was the same outcome. Did Trusty rush the court? Is that why they got, they expelled him? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Pablo says do Spanish streams. I would if, if Pablo would join me, but man, Pablo don't want to join me. He's like, you know what? I'm, I'm Pablo Romero. I'm famous on Twitter now because I do all these uh, uh, reimagination, reinventing of uh, of. Uh, these ladies and I make them look way better than uh, they, than what they do on the TV and what they drawing now. I don't like, so I I, I make them Spanish. I, I give them you know Spanish proportions, you know like the hips, you know, and all that stuff. And uh, people get mad at me, and I'm like, look, man, I'm, I'm Latino, man. That's how my women look. I can't help it. The American women look like sticks, and Latino women got cutters. I can't help it. Not my fault. Mm-hmm. And, and Pablo, Pablo, Pablo makes bobs with exclamation points. Yeah. Yes, he does. It's all yes, caps. It's all caps with, with, with Pablo. He doesn't make bobs. He makes bobs. Yep. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Trust. I got Pablo rolling. He's laughing. Uh, Trust said we almost did have a spectator ejected. The sheriff had to come up in the bleachers to speak to him. Just speak to him. Just speak. speak. <laughs> Uh, what's with the cat, Shady? Says Maranya. Oh, my cat. My cat is my conscience. <laughs> his cat is his conscience. <laughs> you heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. He has a cat conscience. <laughs> no, it, it's basically, I guess, how to put it, uh, like a gimmick for my comic where this cat just sits there looking like this at all times, and I just have a conversation. Basically, with myself assuming the cat's answering. There you go. It's like cats, that pigeon. Cats have no conscience. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna speak because people here like <laughs> cats. You know what I'm saying? Look, look I don't know who's cat peop, uh, people on the stream. Uh, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to die. Yeah, we don't, <laughs> don't want to get death, death threats. Uh, but that cat looks pretty uh, normal to me. Yeah, it looks like a normal cat, right? Yeah, it looks pretty normal to me, you know. It's it's got it's got uh what you call it? Uh oh I'm trying to think of the guy's name, the hair hairdo. It looks like big eighties hairdo, which is cool. <laughs> Kinda looks like Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm thinking more of a Rod Stewart kind of hairdo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's got some hair. That oh. that's just how it came out. No man. Kind of I mean his eyes look like Jimmy Fallon. Just saying. Maybe. I don't know. What Jimmy Fallon's cross eyed? Ah, he just weird looking to me. That cat looks like he's been seeing a lot of Pablo's art with the bobs and booty. He, he, he's been taking too many catnips, you know. <laughs> oh, good old Pablo, man. You can't even get mad at the guy. Oh my goodness. Just for Marania. Oh no, he brought in the dog. Run. <laughs> oh, now you know I gotta go back to the other tab. No, no, no. Um, it's fine. There's, there's and, enough dog. Don't have to. Don't have to work off just, for Marania, just for Marania. We just gotta give. Marania. Yep. I mean, she is a regular, you know, and 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 there's few things that make her happier than el perro. Or la perrita mm -hmm. in this case. La perrita rogue. <laughs> Santa Manny Rogue, the trusty elf dog sidekick. <laughs> you know that that makes Miranda happy, man. You just you just don't know how happy Miranda just got. Hey, you know, open around. <laughs> this Miranda is now ecstatic, and you can't even be mad at that. I have done my job for the day. I have taken care of my fans. <laughs> She's yeah. always got to make one little appearance. Such a ham. And then she's gonna go. Where are you going? I'm just waiting her, her usual sticking the booty in the camera. Yes, she's gonna do that soon. There you go. There we go. Yeah, there you go. There we go. <laughs> there <you> go. <laughs> Gratuitous butt shot. Gratuitous butt shot. Pablo, Pablo should be happy. <laughs> Spank that butt. Spank that butt. All now right. she's gone. Now she's gone. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, the sculptor says, "Tell him about going to see the lights, honey." Well, boy, we did go see the lights. It's pretty cool, you know. And then uh, Mariah well, says, I know, watch, "I know what you want me to say." Uh, then say what she wants you to say, so we don't have to deal with you know the backlash later. Okay. Uh, Just, so yeah. I'm walking. We're walking around. It's pretty cool. We went went to this uh kind of neighborhood a little bit more upscale neighborhood than ours that's for sure uh so they had this both of the both of the the streets were like cornered off so all the most of the houses on the streets they had you know lights so we're going we're just looking at the lights and checking out the lights and all these little girls were coming up to me go hi santa claus <laughs> and i'm like hi you know and i to me, it's like nothing. My wife's just like, ah, you're you're eating this up, aren't you? I'm like, ah, that's why I do it. That's why I grow up my beard. You know, you know, it's pretty cool. Little kids are with a smile on their face. Yep. Nothing Speaking wrong with smiles. That. Speaking of smiles, Marania says, "He's right. I'm happy to get my dose of Santa Manny and Rogue." <laughs> that one says he's not into Rogue's booty though. He's not. He's not impressed. He's not impressed. What is he not into? What kind of stuff? Uh, <laughs> the rogue butt shot. Oh, the butt shot of the rogue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well, he wants to see a uh, human booty. He does not want to see dog booty. Uh, thank, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> you know, Pablo, Pablo is Pablo, man. You know, Pablo, you know, like he said, man, look, man, I, I can't tell it if, if if in my country the women have cutters, okay? Do you know? Say hello to the bad guy at Twitter, Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> you need me. You need people like me on Twitter so you can point at me and say, that's the bad guy. He's the one that draws the women. Say wow. hello to the bad guy. Wow. That's Pablo. He's the bad guy. But we love him, though. In our eyes, he's the good guy. But, you know. Uh, yeah, me me and the fellas been talking. Uh, we're going to have to revoke your Spanish accent uh, card. <laughs> wow. 
you've been giving us a really bad name recently. Mm, when, yeah, is that is that what I do? Yeah, uh, when when white folks from the Simpsons can do a better accent than you, yeah, yeah, we 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 need to stop this now. I'm definitely not a voice actor, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I'm definitely not a boys actor for sure, for sure. But you know, I do make fun of Hispanic accents all the time. So yeah, there's that. There's that. But you, but I could do that. You do not have much of an accent. I don't because I've been in the states for like no, you've, you've been 35, in the five forty years. Military <laughs> beat it out of you. That's why. Yeah, I've been here so long, man. You've been here so long, man. I've been here so long. Me, me, me. Uh, I still like my Chevys, though. Does that count? Mm, Let's see. Last time yeah. you're gonna see a bad guy like this again. Let me tell you, <laughs> says Paolo. Paolo is righteous. He triggers the perpetual sensitive victims on Twitter with those booty and bob sketches. Yeah, he does. That's why Paolo is the bad guy. Oh my goodness, it's happening. What's happening? Uh, they just set off a bomb. Set off a bomb. Those stupid, uh, what you call that? Uh, sparkler bombs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They can't wait for one more day. They gotta do it tonight. They gotta get it in early, man. They're trying to get. Next trying night, to get it. My poor dog go crazy. <laughs> they gotta get it out, man. They gotta get it out. Yeah. So, where you from, Shady? Uh, Florida, also. But so Cuban? No, oh, no, no! Don't, don't you dare! Don't you dare! <laughs> with, amongst them, oh, I come from the motherland, the source of all the Spanish people, Mexico. Mexico. Mexico way. Well, that that motherland in Spain, but yeah, yes, I, I guess Mexico is bigger. <laughs> we we don't recognize Spain. That's the Castellanos, man. Castellanos. Castellanos. Nah. Yeah. That's another thing. Let's see. No fireworks here, says uh, I don't even know what they do here. They didn't even put Christmas lights up in this area. I'm like, wow. That's crazy. Really? They didn't have Christmas lights? No. What? No, they don't. They didn't. Where the hell do you live? The worst, the worst place for someone like me to live. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, no Christmas lights. What the? I mean, I usually argue about Christmas light, but usually the argument happens when it's October and I'm starting to see Santa. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, I'm not a, a big, you know, putting up lights person myself, especially since I'm renting this place. I don't, you know, this this is just a, a temporary situation for me. You don't want to be putting staples in the dam. Right. Um, <laughs> and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because we, we'll put bubble gum uh, and whatever to keep the lights up, you know, get, being ghetto like we are. But I, <laughs> I don't think you're ghetto. Let's see. Paulo says gallegos is how we call them in Argentina. Gallegos. Gallegos. But uh, yeah, no, nah, man. Um, but usually, like everywhere I've been, there's always been somebody with like an excessive amount of Christmas lights and whatever, you know. And we check them out, you know, and whatnot. But over here, nobody, nobody. I was like, wow, that's that's. And I don't know if that's an indication of living in in the West Coast or what. Well, you live in a place where they so them tax to death if they can't afford it. Yeah, probably, man. I'm I'm telling you, when this when this is up for me and and I get to move out of, uh, away from here, I, I will be the happiest person in the world. <laughs> I'm I'm really, you know, I'm really done with this. Now, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll get lucky. Wind up in Hawaii. Uh, why would you want to do that? Text so I can. So I could. Get, so I can bug you. Bug me. <laughs> <laughs> I can bug you, man. You want to be? You won't bug me. Do you yeah. do the beach? Yeah, of course I do the beach. You do the beach? I don't man. do the beach much. 
I mean, I probably will because I haven't been to a good one since forever, you know, but I don't do it like every weekend, you know, like, you know, I, I like to, I like, I like to more go into like, uh, uh, like the mountain areas and do the pig, you know what I'm saying? Find someone who's cooking a, cooking a pig and chill out. Uh, I mean, I, I do not want to imagine he crashing into my house. Crashing at my house is fine, but not into. <laughs> Imagine him crashing into your house every day. Crashing into it? No, yeah. man. It's like, uh, I don't think that's what you meant. <laughs> crashing yeah. At, crashing in, but not into. <laughs> uh, there's a whole different meaning there. <laughs> Way different. <laughs> you never know, man. They don't use doors. He would be Patty's Kramer. He doesn't use the horse. <laughs> Ricey. Ricey, yeah, Ricey's back. Ricey was talking about The Witcher. Uh, Shady Diz hasn't caught up on, on The Mandalorian yet, so I can't talk about that, oh, man. Dude, I, I got two pitching things about that Mandalorian thing. Okay. Really? Yeah, that last episode, there's two things that I was very disappointed in. Right. My wife agrees with me. I'll tell you offline. Tell me offline because you know I don't want to I don't want to ruin it for him. Yeah, I don't want to ruin it for anybody. My wife actually enjoyed it and I actually enjoyed it too. Um I did there is some things that I found kind of odd, you know, but overall, because throughout the whole eight episodes, I kind of enjoyed it. I just kind of overlooked it, you know what I'm saying? Like I was like, you know what? I I can take some of that, you know, because not no show is gonna be perfect all the time. Oh yeah. I, mean, I do have some questions, though. You know, like uh, you know, but uh, but I I did last week. I did go and watch R Rise of Skywalker. Okay, how would you <laughs> like it? <laughs> I thought it was actually not that bad compared to the other ones. Well, it it it, it was people. It's not good. It's not good. Yep. It's not good. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, I I just didn't understand the whole thing about the ending. It's like. Yeah, uh, I didn't get that either. That, that was like, that is so weak. I mean, they had, they really need to, they needed to add a, they needed a writer. They needed a good writer. <laughs> they needed need a writer. It did not make any sense, the ending, you know. Yeah, the, the ending was kind of weird to me too. Um, So. <sighs> I can't, I mean, can't speak on it either because I don't think everybody's watched it either. So I don't think I, I I'm pretty sure if people didn't watch it by now, they're not gonna watch it. All right. Yeah, so that's it, it, it wasn't it wasn't like the other thing, the last one, the Avengers, where so much people was waiting because tickets were sold out. There was no such thing as tickets were sold out for Star Wars. So yeah. pretty much people that wanted to see it saw it already. I, I gave it a break because I thought it was the better of the three, personally. Um I don't understand the ending. Um, I kind of figured the whole Palpatine thing out. I wasn't, but it, it didn't make sense. Dude, like, that just that just canceled out the first trilogy. The whole thing about Darth Vader's uh, uh, yeah, that, it just yeah. canceled it all out. It's like that really sucked. I was like pissed as hell. You're like, oh, you guys, you guys really don't like George Lucas, do you? Disney. <laughs> well, well, I don't even blame Disney too much. I blame uh, Kathleen Kennedy. Hey, She's the one who she, she she wanted to. If you if you caught the original script before the one that got leaked, she wanted to make Ray like a god incarnate. Yeah, they've been trying to do that, and uh, I mean, and they tried to kind of you know like oh you know Princess Leia was training her. That's how she got so good at the Force without <laughs> so little effort. You know what I'm saying? Because Cause I was telling my wife, I said, this doesn't make any sense. Like, even in the Mandalorian, right? Baby Yoda uses the force and then he's done. Like, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Like, I gotta take a rest. Uh, if y'all can't save yourselves after I use the force to help you save yourselves, I can't, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, but you're gonna have to carry me because I'm done. I'm done. You know? And uh, and with Ray is like, there is no consequences for using the force, you know, like there's no no no. I didn't like the very first The Force Awakens when she goes up against Kylo Ren. 
Kylo Ren should have tore her up in freaking five seconds. Done. She would have been dead. Yep. <laughs> it's like no way in hell you're going to pick up a lightsaber and go up against somebody who's been training for years and years and years. It's like me picking up a freaking sword and going up against Olympic swordsmen. I'd be dead. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to defeat him. It's like, come on. That would. Yeah, but yeah. I also didn't understand, like, the whole Kylo Ren sacrifice thing. Like, I didn't get that. I, oh, I, f- <laughs> huh? I think they were trying to do. You uh... spoiled it. <laughs> I did spoil it. I'm sorry. Yeah, you just did. <laughs> oh. I didn't get that part. That's the only part I didn't get. Like, well, that, I, that was a new ability, too. Since when did Jedi's be able to do that? They never uh, could before. But they did the Mandalorian. Uh, actually, they used to be able to do that in the expanded universe. The, the, there was actually a nice uh, story to it. And I think uh, some people are catching on that there are certain abilities that Ray's doing that was in the expanded universe. And that's why Kathleen Kennedy kind of like said uh, the expanded universe is no longer canon. Because they're taking the they're taking the abilities that other people made and fan art and all that, and they're putting it in uh, their movies and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Trusty Psychic says, "Save me thirteen bucks." <laughs> 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 it's not a it, it's bad. It's actually not as bad as the other ones. Personally, like if you don't want to watch it in the theater, watch it watch it when it comes out on DVD. I thought it wasn't as bad as the other ones. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I think they tried to piecemeal some things together, like Leia being the trainer, and everybody knew that she was a Palpatine, except her, and nobody wanted to tell her she was a Palpatine. I don't get that part either. Like, okay, so everybody knew, right? But uh, Kylo knew, and Leia knew, and Luke knew, and I don't know who else knew, but apparently she didn't know. Yeah, everybody knew, R2-D2 knew, that droid that no one cares about knew. <laughs> yeah, like everybody knew who she was except her. And trusty thirteen dollars. What movie theater are you going to? I need to go there. I end up spending like thirty bucks. Wow, Joe, me too easily. You know, a ticket, popcorn, a drink. Yeah, the drink is what kills me the most. Ten dollars. It's just, popcorn. It's just it's just the tickets. Period. Point blank. <laughs> yeah. Where I live. No, but I mean it wasn't it wasn't bad, bad. It's just like I said, you know, there were some things that just didn't make sense to me. You know, I, I mean this, this is gonna be horrible, but people go watch Captain Marvel. It's a better movie. Oh my, oh my lord. I uh, uh, seriously yeah. it is a better movie. <laughs> and people yeah. crapped all over it for no reason at all. There was no reason to crap all over Captain Marvel. Oh, there was plenty of reason. No, it, no was it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> With Manny, it wasn't that bad. I mean, you, if you think about the movie, I don't think it was as as bad as people say. I think the problem was all that, all that stuff that Brie Larson was, all that crap Brie Larson was yeah. talking about before the movie. Yeah. It, it was hatred what, against her. It was not hatred against the movie. Yeah, you know, that's it, what it was. Because, because I think all you guys saw was just little snippets of the movie. That was because, not really the movie. I mean, yeah, so. it, no. Because like uh like Luke Jude Law was amazing in the movie. Oh, he was he was cool. I mean, I mean everybody was. I mean, even she was decent in the movie. She was smiled. She cracked some jokes. I mean, it was fine. You know, it's like, what the hell? I mean, I was really looking for a really heavy-handed, you know, stuff that people said to watch out for. I'm like, okay, I don't see it. Am I missing? Uh, something? I mean, I mean, there were some things that I didn't agree with, obviously, but. And and uh, I think the, my main thing with her is this, right? Um, the only thing I, that I didn't like is is the same thing I've, I've been saying. Like ScarJo, she is Black Widow. Like she's not. It's not like a far stretch for her to look heroic and act heroic and be the Black Widow, right? RDJ is Iron Man. Um, Chris Evans is Captain America. Like when you see him, it makes sense. You know, it's not a forced. It's not like it's forced. They're not forcing the, mm-hmm. you know, the stoicism and the heroism. 
but with Brie Larson, it felt like she was really trying to force it. Like it wasn't, it just wasn't a natural feeling. It just didn't, it, yeah, it just didn't feel natural to me. It felt like she was really forcing it. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I think, you know, her in the Avengers, I thought was worse. What they did oh, with her in the Avengers was worse than what they did in the movie. And, and that's that's one of my biggest scripts. It felt like they kind of rushed Captain Marvel just yeah. so she can be I in mean, that they, movie. Yeah, they just threw her in the movie for no reason. I mean, her little bits of, of the Avengers Endgame was really didn't really feel good, you know. Nah, but, that yeah. was that was something weird on that one. Yeah, especially the part was hi Peter Parker. I was like, what? <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> hey Peter. Like, okay. That's weird. Mm -hmm. What they trying to make her likable all of a sudden because of all the backlash on Twitter and stuff? They might. They, they probably did, you know. Yeah. But but like I said, that was just that was her. She just she killed the movie with her bad whatever she mm -hmm. was doing PR stuff. But then the other part that killed me, like I said, it just she didn't seem like it didn't seem like that was a character. She I mean she's a great actress. I think I mean I've seen her in other oh, stuff. Yeah. She, she's not bad. It's just that the hero or the that heroic trait that comes natural for some people just don't come doesn't doesn't it doesn't translate in the screen for me when she plays Captain Marvel and that's oh. not a knock on her it's some people have it in them and some people don't you know and not mm -hmm. everybody has that trait and and that's fine you know what I'm saying uh -huh. I think mean, uh -huh. I think that that I, I'm Cross Comics is in the house hey how you doing Rick thanks for joining us uh, I just I just think that it just it just didn't translate in the screen for me like Scarjo to me Black Widow all day, every day. Mm -hmm. I, I think it, it looks natural, feels natural. Uh, no problem with it. None. Since since she since Iron Man two, I felt I like. Yep, we got Black Widow. It's amazing. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened? Moranya. <laughs> That's creepy. Making Captain Marvel cool going after a teenage. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Oh, oh, that's funny. That is funny. Oh man, poor Peter. Never poor catches Peter. a break. Poor Peter Parker. Peter Parker. Yeah, Miranda. Miranda encapsulates. She she got it. She she got that nice little <laughs> nice little jokey joke in. It's a good joke. It's a good joke. I liked it. I liked it, man. I ain't, I ain't mad at Moranya, man. Like I said, she's she's always here, so I can't get mad at her. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and right, she says, "Now I'm going to cringe even more at that scene." <laughs> <laughs> it is cringy. It's like what? What? No, Moranya says she's jealous though. Peter has a better booty than her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, man, that's terrible. That's you ever terrible. saw a lip sync battle when uh, Tom Holland did the Umbrella song? Yeah, I saw that. That was kind of, yeah, not my thing, but yeah. Oh, he 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 went all out. I mean, it was really cool what he did. It, yeah, it's not my thing, the music, but I thought he really did a really good job. I mean, freaking did a backflip and everything onto the stage. Do you know he can do yeah, that? Yeah, that's going to catch up to you, boy, someday. <laughs> you young now, but 30 years now, <laughs> keep on doing those black back flips onto your back on a solid stage. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. going to catch up. Yeah, um, actually does some of those flips uh, for Spider-Man. He actually does those some of those flips, not all of them. Apparently, he was like a gymnast or something. Well, he's a skinny little rat, so no, no, but like he was a gymnast, like he mm -hmm. uh, or something, or he took gymnastic training or something. And uh, he flips he can do for real, which is pretty cool. Cross not that he not that he has to with all these now, nah, all the CGI and everything, you know. We, we got a spicy Rick in the chat now. What spicy? That he's was bootyful. So. <laughs> This is Branya. The <laughs> Punisher is back. Oh man, he's trying to be the spicy Punisher. The Punisher is back. He's with his pepper spray. Uh, speaking, <laughs> speaking of which, 
<laughs> and he, how is Rick's book going? Is he is he got it on i on Indiegogo yet? I don't know. He just keeps on sorting through his comics every day. <laughs> uh, what are you up to now, Rick? Episode fifty, sorting through your comics. Oh my lord! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Trusty said, "Damn it, Marania, you beat me to the joke. You gotta be quicker than that, Trusty. You have to be quicker. You know, Marania's on the job, <laughs> so you got to be quicker." Oh, that reminds me. Have you guys uh, read the the final for uh, Doomsday Clock? I have not. I'm not a DC guy, but probably Manny did. No, I did. I haven't bought comics in two months now, so I am totally. I just don't know what's out out there right now. I just Christmas came along, Thanksgiving. I'm like, eh, I don't got time to go to the comic shop. Yeah. I mean, I, I I'm pretty sure I can go to the comic shop and get what I need. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. But mom's like, yeah, let's go to the comic shop. And she's going to like, go by yourself. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> but there, isn't there like a place that, that you take uh, Mac to eat near the shop? No, oh, they closed those places down, man. That was cool because they had the ramen shop and they had a Chinese shop right next door. Ah. And they closed, closed, closed? They closed down for good? or Yeah. I think they may have lost the lease or something and just closed down. They were pretty good. The ramen place was really good. I enjoyed oh. going there. Tweeted that out a few times. I know. That's what. I, that's how I remember. I was like, wait a minute, isn't there? Because I was gonna say you could just tell her, hey, after we go, we uh, yeah. you know, well, we that's the eat. whole thing too. Is I think I, I think we only took her there once, but me and Mac, we went there a few times, <laughs> and she and it would always be when she's at work, so she'd always get mad. You always go out to eat without me, I'm like. Well, you're at work, so mm -hmm. went out to eat. So look, we can't help you working. Shoot. And then she gets mad at me. It's like, what are you going to bring home for me? <laughs> Trusty says, I'm waiting on a doom, doomsday clock trade. There you go, Trusty. That way you can read it all at once. <laughs> I ain't mad at that, Trusty. Something to be said for those trades. I don't know how collectible they are, but there's something to be said for those trades. <laughs> Cross, I was being facetious. I know you only have 10 episodes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's also saying that the 7th of 2020, I guess it's meaning January 7th, 2020, is when they're going to launch. So, yeah. That well, sounds I'm amazing. I've been taking a break from drawing Skunky for a while. Oh, yeah, you're on, uh, on vacation? Well, I got a catch up on a lot of stuff around the house. I finally fixed my air compressor today, which I should have fixed a long time ago. So now you got uh, AC? No, my air compressor for my for doing my working on my cars and stuff. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was dumb. I didn't put oil in one day. And guess what happens when you don't put oil into your air compressor, people? Yeah. So now I got like a a 30 pound paperweight. Of a pump, <laughs> it's not good, brother. No, I, I bought a I bought a new pump off of Amazon. Actually, it's super quiet, so I'm kind of happy because that old pump was super loud. Oh, it was so loud. This is super quiet, so I finally got that all plumbed up this today. Nice. So now I can go work on my cars. I gotta get my car up and running. That's my goal. Get my car up and running. And then I'll jump back on Skunk Girl because my car has been neglected for over a year, you know, working on Skunk Girl. So I got to get that thing up and running. Man, your car is probably feeling like you don't love it anymore. Well, it, it's it's a classic car, so I got to get that up and running. I don't want to – all that work that I worked on, I mean, the rust is coming back. So I'm like, damn, I got to get back on this 
get it all up and running and styling and profiling going around just <laughs> go to the car shows and stuff uh oh hey you guys uh used to see the uh pit my ride yeah i used like, to watch it you know somebody actually found what the the van the girly van yeah i saw that uh, oh you you saw that on youtube too yeah he's got like two or three episodes of it where he found it and he uh he redid it he gave it to somebody yeah, he he just released that episode today, uh, the third and final episode. Yeah, I was like, oh, look at this dude. You got the three minute warning here, buddy. Three minute warning. Oh no! All right, well, shoot, let's uh, let's go ahead and wrap it up, man. See, everything time flies with many joints, man. Everybody loves the show. People <laughs> come. Everybody's loving life, you know. <laughs> hey, Shady D, tell everybody where you can be found. Me be found. Yeah, I'm yeah. hiding, man. <laughs> you got a YouTube or anything like that? Instagram? Nah, YouTube nah. They, they can find me at like uh, uh, at Shady Comics on Twitter. At Shady that's, Comics on Twitter. Yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. There you go. See, man, you, you gotta you gotta let the people's know, man. The people's people's want to know these things. Yeah, and they're writing it down. I'm gonna go mess this guy up. Now, yeah. now I know where he's at. <laughs> and of course, Good Thought Press doesn't really need no introduction, no outro. But anyway, Manny. Well, you can find me on Good Dog Press when I have no clue. There will be a Aloha Dingo hour soon, so we'll we'll see what happens then. That is, that is the spicy Good Dog Press with the spicy Australian. And you can find me on Twitter, Good Dog Press, and Instagram, then Breedable Skunk Girl. Skunky will return in 2020. But Ooh. let me get some of my car done first, people. <laughs> and then I'll jump back on it. Full blown. The Manny awesome. Dingle Hour, as Pablo wants. <laughs> yeah. All right. And of course, I'm your tease. And you can find me here on your tease. You can find me at Colorblind underscore E on Twitter. You can find me on your tease arts on Facebook and Instagram. And that's pretty much it, man. If I don't catch everybody, man, I hope everybody has a wonderful New Year's, man. May all your dreams come true. And may you, uh, if you have any New Year's resolutions, write them down. <laughs> that way you can remember what it is that you resaluted. All right? And I hope everybody has a good evening. Uh, God bless and good night. Aloha. Adios.